everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Pink Plum Bob here and I'm bringing you another brand new speed build. And today I am bringing you a Victorian townhouse. So I'm sorry once again, I'm always apologising on this channel, how late my builds are. Um, I've had quite a busy uh, week or so or whatnot, and um, I kind of had a little bit of builder's block as well. Like I wasn't sure what to build next and then I kind of went on Pinterest to try and get some sort of inspiration. And this is what I came up with. I came up with this kind of old fashioned style, um, classic kind of Victorian style inspired, I don't know. Um, townhouse so I'm actually really pleased with the way it turned out it's I think it's really cute and I want to do something a little bit different as well and it's on the smaller kind of side of things which I'm not normally used to so it's nice just to do something different and I've been wanting to build a Victorian style house or mansion for a while now so I thought this was the perfect opportunity just to have a go because I've never really built a Victorian style house before so I'll let you know a little bit about it, so um, it's on a 40 by 30 lot in Willow Creek, it has 4 bedrooms and 3 bathrooms, it's 4 storeys high, so there's 3 levels which you can see and there's also a basement area, and this comes in at a nice hefty 255,936 simoleons. Now I made this so it was 2 homes in 1, I wasn't sure initially what to do with the basement because I did build a basement because I feel like you see a lot of the classic kind of Victorian style houses and they've got a basement so on and so forth you see it all in like London and stuff like that and I thought oh what should I do with it so I actually decided to turn it into its own self-contained home and that has its own bathroom it's got its own bedroom it's got its own kitchen and it's also got its own living space as well so there's two homes in one in this so you you know it's a bargain really if you think about it buy one get one free sort of thing and I had the intention of the sim that would be living here would be a relative of the people living upstairs but maybe um, I they were a single parent and there is um, a newborn baby cot in there as well and I felt like you know they need to bring up the child have a little bit of space but they're not too far away from help if they need it so that was the intention there I went with a white and black kind of colour scheme for the whole of it so it was light and bright and looked a little bit modern as I feel like maybe I'm not really a fan of dark coloured builds, I don't know what it is, it just kind of looks really drab and dreary, but maybe I just haven't got the skill to make it not look like that, so n it's nothing against other people who build with dark kind of walls and tones and stuff, I like, I just like really light and bright homes. Um, it's also got um, a lot of the stuff from Strangerville, mainly in terms of the build stuff. So it's got a lot of the windows and doors and stuff from Strangerville, as, as everybody knows, it's perfect as it's all kind of Victorian inspired, um, you know, stuff. We'll just call it stuff for now. And also there is, like, I made an extension on the back of the house, as I imagined, you know, because back in the day, in the Victorian times, houses were very small and there was not a lot of room at all, uh, especially when they were all like townhouses and cramped together, so I decided to put what would look like an extension on the back, and that is what actually houses the kitchen. Um, so yeah, and there's also like um, a lot of outdoor space, not a massive outdoor space, and I have kind of cramped it all up into little sections. Uh, I don't know if you can hear Albus, he is going barmy. I don't know what it is. I had him neutered last week and since then he has been crazy. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what. Um, normally it calms them down but for some reason he's just gone even crazier than normal. Um, which I don't mind because it is funny to be honest with you seeing him go barmy for no reason. Um, so back to the garden area. There is a barbecue area with seating and there is also like a dining area with an umbrella and there is also like a hot tub area. There's also a, um, a gardening section as well where I put some of the small debug planter boxes um, and I've also kind of made it so there is like a walkway which goes up to this grand kind of end of the garden and there is a nice like arch thing which came with the romantic garden stuff and I've stuck in there some chess tables, oh, well a chess table and chair sorry and I kind of went with the plants a really kind of colourful bright vibe going on so it's all very light and bright it's all very like happy happy it's not dark and dreary I wanted it just to look really pretty and really inviting and cute so that's what I did and I feel like I kind of I did that to the best of my ability so I am pretty pleased with it as well 
and as soon as you walk through the front door there, you will um, be welcomed with a big fireplace with lots of decor. And I will mention there is a lot of clutter. I mean, I know this video is long, it is 30 minutes long, um, but that's purely because A, I had a lot more time to play with, and B, there is a lot of clutter and lots of little details in this. So I did emphasize on the little details in this a lot more than normal. I mean, normally I kind of go above and beyond with the little details, but with this I really wanted to focus on making it look cluttered, look lived in, as I always do. I like it, it makes it feel homely to me. I like, um, I'm not like a hoarder where I clutter things up, but I like to have stuff around so it has a bit of personality and you can kind of visualize the kind of sims that would live there. Um, so that's kind of what I was going for with that as well. And um, let's see what else I've got. So I wrote all my notes on my iPhone. Um, so as soon as you walk through the door, off to the left hand side is where you will find the living space. And in there, there is a piano, there is a laptop, an elect electronic sketch pad. Um, and there is also a lovely bay window as well, which um, I've put one of those little like seats, which fits perfectly in there. So I thought that would be nice. And there's also a bookshelf in there, so there's plenty to do. Um, in there and also like you walk down the hallway and that's pretty much it for like downstairs apart from the kitchen so there's literally like three rooms downstairs because um, it's mainly hallway and living space and then the extension on the back which is obviously the kitchen and the kitchen is small um, and I actually play tested this one guys so well done me woo 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 so yeah I actually play tested it for once because it was so cluttered and cramped I wanted to make sure that everything was working as it should be and thank you to my amazing skills at building nothing had to be changed so I was very pleased also make sure you put on your bb.move objects on cheat because I think stuff will go missing otherwise I have a feeling with this one that things will go a bit walkabouts and you don't really want that you'll you'll download it and think oh bloody hell I've got no uh, got no plants or anything or clutter so make sure you do that when you're in like the main section of the sims because I want you guys to experience the best of my builds possible and also I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers hello welcome my name is Emma and I'm bringing you the best quality sims 4 content that I can possibly create and I'm glad you're here for the ride um, this is something I really enjoy doing and it's a lot of fun and it also gives me a lot more confidence as well so I managed to get my mojo back a little bit with The Sims in terms of like, the building videos so on and so forth so I'm, I've got a lot more to offer I've constantly, I mean I know I said I have builder's block but I do have ideas that swish around in my head and I try and do things a little bit differently um, I don't want to do like the samey things that you see a lot of people do which isn't a bad thing like you know doing samey things is fine it's what people want to see I want to bring something different to the table so that's my goal here and also to entertain you as well so if you're having a cup of tea like I am right now um, or get yourself a cup of tea I don't know why you haven't got one you should have one you know you're watching my video here you need a cup of tea um, so yeah and the family I had in mind for this is a family of let me count so we've got parents so one two three four Five, six sims so we've got the parents that live on the top floor by the way they have the whole top floor to themselves because they can um so we've got the parents we've got a child boy sim with teenage girl sim and then we've also got a single parent now i made the um self-contained flat very unisex so any sim any gender whatever alien or what can live down there with their newborn baby that's the idea for that one and i thought you know they, they can't afford to get their own place so mom and dad decided to turn the basement into a self-contained home and it's all gravy from there, it's all gravy, gravy baby. Sorry, I'm just going to take a small sip of my tea. I don't want it to go cold. Tell you what, that's a banging cup of tea I've just made myself. Anyway, back to the build. So, um, in terms of kind of skill building items, we have got quite a few things, so we've got like, um, some, I don't know, maybe not that much actually when I'm looking at it, some more decor. Yeah, I'm a liar, Ex yeah, excuse my lying, I am a terrible liar. Okay, I'm just going to go through what I've written here, I'm going to like go through the bullet points. Okay, also a cat lives here, I forgot to mention, a cat will live at the top of the stairs where it will be able to eat, sleep and have a nice poo if it needs to have a nice poo. So that's all there for you at the top of the stairs. 
downstairs because I thought, yeah, it's quite a nice family home, so I wanted to include a pet. So I always feel pets kind of complete a family. I know that my pets definitely complete my life. They, they are the meaning to my life. I love, I love them. I can't wait to come home to them every day after work and see their beautiful smiling faces and they're like, oh mum, I'm here, I'm here to see you and I'm like, hello children. Um, but they, that, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I love my children. I call them my children. Right, back to the bills. Sorry, I'm getting so sidetracked here. I'm just waffling a load of tosh. So we have in the child sim boys bedroom, we do, he has his own television and his own TV, con uh, TV console, games console. He's also got a toy box. Um, and there's also got a lot of the clutter from the debug menu. So you know like the school projects and stuff you get from parenthood. Um, I got like some of those and kind of put them around. And something else I did as well, I kind of cluttered up his... Um, his bed frame because it was like the chunky one. I can't remember. I, I can't remember if it's base game. I think it is base game, and it's got quite a chunky like shelf on it. It looks like a shelf, like it could be a shelf. It's thick enough to be a shelf. So I decided to put lots of little bits and pieces on there as well, just to like yeah, just keep it realistic because you know it's all about realism. And um, but there wasn't that many toys and stuff for him, so sorry about that. I couldn't really fit them in. Um, but it doesn't matter, he'll be happy with his computer games and his um, toy box, so it's not the end of the world. Um, the teenage girl's bedroom, there is a desk area with a laptop as well, there's lots of clutter in this room as well, but I actually really like this room. I feel like it's one of the my favourite rooms in the house, to be honest with you, and I do also love the living room, I will say. Um, I just wanted the kind of interior to be mi mismatched. Oh, bloody hell, I'm going to drop my phone. Um, I just wanted it to be a bit of fun, a bit of exciting, not like a classic Victorian home, you know. Um, it's just got, all, it's kind of like the the outside is all Victorian but the inside is not. It's, um, it's a bit of fun, it's family friendly, it's warm and inviting and that's what the kind of thing I was going for. And But the one room that I think would probably reflect best against like the Victorian kind of theme is definitely the master bedroom as I did use like... Um, like classic print wallpaper and stuff like that, but you'll see that in a bit, you'll see that in a bit. And, oh, did I say it was play tested? I can't remember, it's all play tested. So, um, oh gosh, I think one of the cats have had a really bad poo. Oh, blimey. The problem with cats, when they have a big poo, it absolutely stinks. It's not like dog poo, you can deal with the smell of dog poo, but cat poo, whoa, oh, it's got that little bit of extra something. Right, there is also, um, in the teenage girls bedroom there is also a um like you know the the fireplace that we got in one of the recent updates and it's just like a blank fireplace there's not a real fire in there i wanted it so it kind of looked like there used to be a fireplace there but they've kind of bricked it all up and she's just kind of decorated it in her own little way so i did put like a little mirror above there some fairy lights and some plants and stuff like that and i thought that was quite a cute little touch because with these like old victorian homes you do kind of see the really old fireplaces which have been bricked up and, but they still kept the fireplace itself so I thought that that was quite appropriate and I did want to put one in the boys room but I couldn't fit it in um, so you know because they are kind of like back to back the fireplaces were back in like the old Victorian homes well the ones that I've seen anyway they're all kind of back to back they're all connected the fireplaces um, in the old homes um, I spent, well I only know this really because I've been around like Sir. I don't know if you guys would, well you probably wouldn't because most of you guys that watch my stuff are American but basically there's this place called the Black Country Living Museum and there is a lot of um, homes which have been moved which are all like um, proper Victorian style houses and it's a whole like place dedicated to um, the Victorian times here in England and whatnot and it's interesting to go around and they like show you how they used to live and what the houses were like and they're all genuine houses they've just all been taken down brick by brick and then rebuilt at this site where they can be kind of protected um, and you do see when you're walking around these really old homes um, and like they've still got toilets in the back garden and stuff like that um, you do see like a lot of the fireplaces are kind of back to back or very close to they say like they share the same chimney uh, space so that's the kind of thing I was going for here that's what I really wanted to do and because of course being British we kind of know about these kind of things well I like to think so anyway um, but here we're just under the stairs at the moment just doing more clutter lots and lots of clutter I love the clutter 
I don't know, I just something about it when I, I mean, before I started doing like my own homes, like building them, I used to go on the gallery and stuff, and if I could find a house on the gallery that was really well decorated and really well cluttered, I would go for it. Now I've got to say, one of the best homes that I saw on the gallery, I was originally going to build the Amityville Horror House, no, I've done the Amityville Horror House, excuse me, what am I talking about? Um, the Bates Motel house, so, but the, like the original one where all the stuff went down. Um, I wanted to build the old mansion that was on the top of the hill. Um, and then I went through the gallery to see if many people had done it, because otherwise I wouldn't bother if, you know, it's been flooded. I want to do something that's a little bit different, but not many people had actually done it. Um, and then I saw this one, and it was absolutely fantastic. I couldn't even compete. Not that it's a competition, because it's not. This is all about creativity. But this person had created this uh, Bates Motel mansion, and it was absolutely fabulous. Like, they did it perfectly, and they used so much clutter and stuff like that and decor, and it looked fabulous. And I thought, you know what? Kudos to those people, because they must have spent absolutely ages decorating that place. And I thought, it kind of put me off doing it myself because I thought, no, I can't compare, I can't compete with this, That that's just too good. And I wasn't kind of um, that good, I guess, back in a few months ago. I, cannot, I can see like I'm improving slowly over time with my decorating and rooms and stuff like that because I do kind of build funny shaped houses. But this one was a very simple shape, which is surprising because normally I just throw down a load of squares and just take it from there um so yeah i'm sorry i'm just gonna take another sip of tea don't don't find it rude please mm -mm -mm. i love tea mm. that's lovely Right, Elvis is just having a sleep now. I think he's worn himself out after going bar me for a few minutes. Anyway, how has everybody been? I've missed you. I've missed everybody that's like a person who likes to watch my videos. It's it's lovely when um, I get such lovely comments from you all and and questions and stuff. So it's really it's really like inspiring and it encourages me. So like your guys' comments do inspire me and they keep me kind of keep keep me doing this like I'm hoping I'm getting there um but I'm not really doing it in terms of like just to do it for the sake of doing it I'm doing it because I enjoy it and I won't I won't ever do a build for the sake of doing a build I want to do a build when I am ready and prepared and you know I've got the idea and I'm good to go so um so sometimes I'm on time sometimes I'm not it just depends like I mean Look, I mean, I can't even compare my building to this, but look at the Sistine Chapel. I think it took like 20 years or something to complete. Um, I'll have to look that up, actually. I know it took a long time. It took Michelangelo a long time. So you can't rush creativity, people. I mean, I know you've all been dying to see my stuff, waiting all week. Week and a half, two weeks. I can't remember the last time I uploaded. Anyway, um, you've been dying and you've probably been crying yourself to sleep because you're like where is pink plum bar but i need her stuff but here i am better late than never so and also if you would like to download this off the gallery it is available i've put it i put it on there a while ago actually but it hasn't really sparked that much attention i must say maybe people are a bit like mm, nah not for me love but that's fine if it's not your cup of tea it's not your cup of tea i'm not going to judge you um so it is available on the gallery and if you would like to download it, check out the description below or simply type into the gallery um, either hashtag EmmaPP, which is my hashtag I use for my builds, or you could alternatively search for my EA username which is x pinkblumbub x and it should lead you to this build and all of my other previous builds. Now, most of my builds um, on my gallery page are, there is a video to go along with it. So if you would like to see the video, have a little scroll back through my past videos and you will find, um, you know, my old builds in there. And I do remember that my first ever build was the old school house. Now, if you see any builds past that, then they are way before I even thought about doing this sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, just, have a little nose if you like it, you like it, if you don't, fair enough, I'm not going to judge you. So, here is the teenage girl's bedroom, and I love this bedroom, I, I, I just love the whole, like, colour scheme, I love the oranges and the pinks, it's just a bit of fun, and, um, 
Of course, I love the clutter as well. And I liked putting like the shoes underneath the desk um, because I thought, well, it's just somewhere to put them. I didn't really want to stick them anywhere else, to be honest. Um, but everything seemed to match really nicely. And um, I've, I, you'll see the fireplace now. I love this fireplace. I did downsize it because it was quite large. Um, and I really liked the mirror that went with this. I thought the mirror like suited it really nicely. It just framed it perfectly. And I also like the plant and the teddy and stuff. I just thought it was really cute. And um, yeah, I think I need to get myself that um, CC shelf, the one where you can literally put anything anywhere you want because sometimes I size like a table down or something and it the items I want to put on top of it are either too high or too low for it and it is a pain in the ass and it is restricting me in certain aspects so I think I will go and find that CC shelf and download it. This is the bed I was talking about. I'm pretty sure it is base game. I didn't check the footage just as it was playing but never mind. Um, but you will see now that I will put lots of like clutter all over it and I think it looks really sweet and really realistic as well because that's the kind of thing I was going for. But like here that shelf would have been perfect for this because I'm pretty sure um, the items on the bed are actually too high. I'm pretty sure they look better on the top part of the shelf there but I think um, I think it's too high uh, and it could be doing with a little bit lower just to you know make it look like it's sitting on there properly um, but yeah here's a little like TV thing I kind of wanted to get like some sort of old-fashioned um, chest of drawers sort of thing just to rest the television on nothing that really matched um, but I do like this bedroom it's once again it's light and bright and it's very kind of masculine as well and I do like that and here I'm getting out those debug school projects as well because I thought you know maybe he has um, he's quite a good little boy like he does his school projects and he's quite creative and stuff but he's also um, a bit of a gaming geek and he likes to do stuff like that so and then I just clutter up his wall with posters like I always do for the kids rooms um, but it just makes it look so much more realistic and stuff like that uh, and then just add a mirror and some more posters and that's the job done um, now you will see in this house, because it is so cluttered, there is going to be stuff kind of everywhere while you're playing. So it's not going to be the most practical kind of house to play in. Because as you can see, right there, there's all stuff floating all over everywhere. But that's because they haven't been placed on the shelf properly. They've been raised, so it looks like the game doesn't count it as being on the wall. Um, but look, I've included a bathroom. Aren't you proud of me? It's because I had some extra time. And I quite like this little bathroom. It's cute. It just does the job. And um, it's got a little laundry section as well. So there are, in fact, two lots of washing machines and two lots of dryers in this build as well. So there's plenty uh, of go stuff going on. And the washing machine and dryer um, are the other side. No, the other set are downstairs in the basement. Right here, I saw a sim do this. A sim do this. I saw a uh, YouTuber do this. I cannot remember their name, um, but I was watching their speed builds, and they seem to come up with some really good ideas um, out of using other objects that I would never have thought of. But that headboard is actually a sign. If I find them, I'm pretty sure it's a, a male. Um, I'm pretty sure if I find him again, I will tag him uh, below. Not tag him, like you know what I mean put a link to his channel below because he's got some cracking ideas for building and stuff and I thought I'm going to have to steal it so I will give credit to you if I if I can find him again but I I saw that like headboard trick and put like the season's bed against it and it just looks so good and it just like makes it different it just adds a little bit of you know pizzazz so this is the master bedroom it is quite tight and small but the sims will get around the bed quite easily I did play test it and also um, it's got a really cute but quite classical bathroom so I do get one of those baths with the little feet on and I really like the entire like top floor it's very boudoir it's very cozy it's bougie um, so it's really yeah I really like this um, little um, bedroom sorry I'm not like, losing my words now I'm getting a proper brain fart at the moment I'm just going to take a little break for two seconds, just bear with me. Right, so I just finished off my cup of tea because I was looking at it and thinking, oh, I really need to get this cup of tea down me. Um, so, yeah. So I've drank it and it was delicious. So, um, 
So yeah, let's talk about what I've been up to uh, the past couple of weeks. So on Sunday, I had my brother-in-law and his fiance over, and we had a lovely day out. We went, um, we went out shopping, and we went to like this home place, and they sell these most amazing, like unique kind of um, decor items, and they sell like really nice furniture and stuff like that. And I fell in love with the rug there and it was a lot of money and I was just like oh I really want it I really want it because I've been dying for a new rug for ages um, but I've just been kind of looking out for the right one and I found it and I kind of just didn't get it in the end really I couldn't afford it I just was feeling a little bit like oh let's just get it you know who cares sort of thing um, and I also wanted like um, a bean bag or a poof just like another little sitting area because I've only got like three um, seating spots in my house so it'd be nice just to get out like a bean bag or something like that just like for an extra seat really so when I've got guests over and stuff it's a bit more comfortable for them but I ended up instead just getting some more cat bowls for, for my children so that's all I did and I got some really cute ones one had like unicorns printed all over it and then one had like little cat ears so they were cute they were cute and then we went and had a Pizza Hut and it was absolutely amazing. I love Pizza Hut and me and Joe we shared this like this giant pizza. Joe is uh, my um, brother-in-law's fiance and um, it was we had this massive pizza and we had like half what we wanted so I had like half barbecue and she had like a chicken soup cream or something. I love pizza and we had like two sides with it as well and we had like the cheesy bites and we had some chicken wings and then we also had a sharing cookie dough dessert, so it was the bomb. I loved it. Um, if I could do it again now, I would go right now to Pizza Hut and order that again because it was just so good. And then after that, we went round to uh, another shop and we just got some like home bits and pieces, kind of like cleaning stuff and bits and bobs like that. So that's all I did on Sunday. Um, I've also got a big fat nail in my front tire of my car so I've currently got the spare wheel on and it literally looks like a trolley wheel like it's so thin and when I'm driving it does feel like it's gonna like I feel really unstable in the car because it's so much thinner than my other tires it's just but I've got no choice I've got I've got to have it on otherwise I won't be able to go anywhere and um, it's just a bit dodgy I don't know I don't like it but I'm getting a new tire tomorrow so you know it's not the end of the world um, I'm trying to think of what else, but yeah, but as a, because I've got the spare tyre on, I can obviously only drive at 50 miles an hour. So when I was on the motorway on the way to work, people were being really horrible to me. Like people thought I was being slow on purpose, and it's like I'm, I'm not. I've got a, I've got a, you know, a spare wheel on, but they can't see it because it's on the left hand side of my car so they can't actually see I've got a spare wheel on so they just think I'm being like an old granny and being really slow and they're bombing it past me like 70 miles an hour and they're going right up my right up the back of my car and round and right in front of me like trying to make a point like you're going too slow but there's nothing you can do but I'm just there just driving along like nothing's wrong just carrying on um, but it was alright I got to work safely so better to be safe than sorry kids um, and make sure you always take your time when going long distances as well um, but back to the build so this is the neutral kind of parents room and I wanted to make um, a little changing table for the newborn baby as well I mean the sims won't use it but it's just nice for a decoration point of view and I also like the giraffe there I think this is a really cute little area I love this just little baby changing area and then I put some of those like lotions and stuff so it looks like um, you know baby changing bits and pieces and moisturizer for the baby's bum stuff like that to be honest guys that is it for the build so I hope you enjoyed it and I am planning on building a mansion next so mansions coming your way so don't worry no more little builds I'm going big and I'm gonna do a mansion so anyway guys I will see you all in the next video bye bye